Good afternoon, and welcome to the last episode of 2019. <laughs> episode 943 for keeping track. And the topic today is about letting go and about saying goodbye to the past year, because this is December 31st. So, um, jumping right in, um, if you want to know more about me, you can look at my profile and you know, that sort of stuff. But I thought I'd just jump into the topic because this is the end of the year. And it's also, well, <laughs> it's supposed to be the end of a decade, as people are saying, but really next year, the end of the decade, because decades go from one to 10, not from zero to nine. So 2020 is actually the end of the 20 teens. But who's counting? Let's just say for the sake of argument, today is the last day of the year and it's the last day of the, of the decade, just for the sake of argument. So I know the difference. <laughs> So my point today, or my topic today, is really about the completion. Completion energy, letting go, releasing, being free to move on. Because a lot of people are already preparing for 2020. And I've done some talks, actually, the last few days about setting up yourself for success in 2020. Um, particularly about not using resolutions, because they don't work. And the ego-driven. And working with intentions, because they're spirit-fueled and much more powerful. I sort of coined that phrase over three different tries over the last few days. So I've been talking about next year, but let me just go back to as today is the last day of the year, looking back at this past year and invite you to consider what it is maybe you are really to let go of, what you want to give thanks for, what you're glad is done, because a lot of people are actually damn happy that 2019 is almost over. In some ways I am too, although I've been noticing looking back, at, I actually went back and looked, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. But anyway, so different opportunities. So for me, just to be transparent, I did go through my calendar today just to look back at the past year just to see what I remember happening and what I did notice was there's a lot less in it than I thought there was just to be, just to be honest I thought there'd be a lot more highlights events things and such and look back and it was pretty spread out and so I already know 2020 is going to change that and that's actually one reason why I'm looking back at 2019 because I'm going to use that as a I don't say baseline but certainly as a resource to say okay what works great do more of that next year. I mean, this is the epitome of, of personal growth or, or being better is do more of what works, do less of what doesn't work. Excuse me, do more of what works, do less of what doesn't work and try new things. That was the, that was the three statements for, for becoming better at what you do. So using this past year as a baseline, and if you ideally do this every year, because I'm just talking about this current past year, which is that, yeah, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself here. So using this past, current, this past year as a reference point can then be used as a point to go forward, meaning that if some things worked over the past year, do more of that in the new year. If things that didn't work in the past year, do less of that in the new year. And if you do certain things this year and you're just not sure what to do, try some new things. So using that as a directional piece into the new year, or whichever way that is on the screen, um, <clears throat> that's always an interesting thing about which side of the screen I'm pointing to. So here's the thing, for you, and I said, I mentioned for myself, looking at my calendar, I did see a lot less, I would say events than I thought I'd had past year. I mean, I had to look back at my calendar to see, oh, hang on a second, I thought I did more things last year. Hmm, so this gives me thoughts about what I wanna do in 2020, which basically, um, I've declared it a few times in different places, so I'll just do it here, is I'm, I'm declaring to the universe, to the world at large, that it's coming on to spend a lot of my, I, I want to be committing to speaking on stage publicly in venues and events at least once a month this year. That's my goal. So I didn't plan on saying that. Now it's out. Okay, it's out in the wild. Somebody might see that. <laughs> maybe you. Maybe you know somebody. So what's been going on for me recently is really looking back and reflecting because I've got some teachings I've been putting out the last few weeks about going forward into next year, but also about looking back at this past year. Because this past year, okay, now I've got my directions right. Okay. This past year was a distinct... Um, well, to put it, put it in some way, put some way that I would, excuse, let me try it in English. Put it in the way that some of my friends have talked about. It. It's a year that is good, good riddance to. Now, something I learned from one of my teachers a long time ago was to look at the life through the lens of perspective and look at the life, look at life through the lens of detachment. You can, in fact, look at life and go, everything that happens to you or in front of you as my as one of my teachers put it, is, an, is calling it an interesting evolutionary experience, which has a lot of weight to it. It also has a lot of um, interest to it because people are going, but yeah, but that was painful or that was happy or that was like, well, can you see through the lens of an interesting evolutionary experience? Because if you can, then you become less reactive to what happened. Now, just to be clear, I'm not speaking good or bad, it's reactive because 
There are good things you can be reactive to and there are bad things you can be reactive to. Because something can be good and you get happy. Something can be upsetting and can be sad. So it's still reaction because you're not choosing intentionally. And this is part of the, this is the power thing that I talk about and the codependency thing I talk about too. Is that when you can look at things that happen in your life, particularly the past year, because we're looking as, because a lot of this today is looking back at the past year, you know, 2019 completions, endings, open up the next stuff, and then, you know, tomorrow's a brand new year, which always seems weird to say that out loud. Um, <laughs> but the thing is that we have choice about how we respond, how we react, how we consider, how we use what happened to us. And so understanding that if everything is in fact an interesting evolutionary experience, then everything that happens, good, bad, or indifferent, it just happens. It isn't, that made my life better, that made my life worse. So you've got the opportunity to look at that as one thing. Second part, as I mentioned before, is about having the clarity about what didn't work before, don't do that in the future. What did work before, do more of that in the future. That little piece. There are things I did this past year that I actually will not be doing again, but also things I did last year that were refinements. And that's part of the thing that I've been... I was sharing the last few days about my new um, masterclass that's starting up in a week. That has been something that was an evolutionary process through a couple of, I think it was three, two? I can track of it. Two or three different um, prototypes, for want of a better word. So I'm clear now that this has been a training process for me in terms of some things I'm doing. I know <laughs> that every year is a training process, to be honest. So none of it's like, oh, I'm done now. Just put my feet up and coast for the rest of the year. It doesn't work that way. Well, if you don't care about growing and you want to stay where you are, then sure. But I'm speaking about what if you want to have a better year than last year? It's going to require that you keep moving forward. And just to be clear, I have a, I, I'm not a fan of using terms like crushing it or destroying it because that's destructive, duh. So I'm speaking about how you can have more joy and more success by being able to practice more of the good things that work to expand and explore new opportunities. And as I said, try new things, because if you don't do new things, you're just repeating the same old stuff. And frankly, life would be boring that way. So having clarity about understanding what in the last year didn't work that you can drop and not do any more of is a great piece of understanding because it helps you get free of things that don't work for you. And again, things that did work well for you, do more of those in the new year if you want to keep producing the same results through that venue, that avenue, that expression. And also turn up the volume a little bit more perhaps. And, and as I said, also try new things because if you try new things, you might discover some new cool things that make your life even better than before. That's something I've been learning myself. I mean, I, I, as I mentioned yesterday, you're talking about I mean, a couple of masterminds. I haven't done masterminds for a while and being in them has really added some dimension to my experience and my work and my exploration because I know I get better at being myself when I get people I, I can collaborate with who are on the same level as I am. There was, so was somebody's going to, no, I'm not going to, no, I'm not going to do that one. Okay. <laughs> slide, slide through. Next one. Okay. <laughs> Stuff is falling in through, the, through consciousness. So I'm just dropping in what's coming through. So what I'm clear about is one of the things I'm going to continue doing to the new year. <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to blow the microphone out. Just clear my throat. One thing I'm going to do for the new year is do more of those collaborative accountability mastermind type things for myself but because i know they work so well it's why i created my own masterclass, which is launching in ja in just just over a week just under a week about a week from now i'll put a link in the comments you can check it out for yourself but really i'm understanding is the more that we can help each other the more we can collaborate and learning and growing and teaching the better off we are so i'm basically sharing what i'm learning some of i've known for 30 years some of i just learned this past week so if you join me in my journey starting up next week it's three months um, master i'm going to master class because mastermind's overused but it's really the same thing when we get to support support each other and there's collaboration and group calls and everything else anyway i'm going to go look at the web page it'll be in the link in the comments um it's on my website which is barrysobe.com forward slash bff as in boy frank frank check it out so what i was trying to get to is that really for the lingo this past year some of the things you want to take into the new year are things that worked for you and as I said, for me, masterminds did work for me this past year. They came in handy and helped me really f refine. In fact, this new thing, offering I'm putting out is a direct result of one of the masterminds I'm in. So I know that it was helpful. So I'll keep doing those and finding, and it's not, and, and you're not necessarily have an official one, even though I'm recommending mine. So yes, I know I'm cutting off my own sales this way. Is find people you trust who are at the level you want to grow to and collaborate with them. 
Yes, you can sign up for mine, which I would happily lead you through and love you to join me. But if nothing else, find at least three, maybe four other people you can collaborate with, to have support from, that you can stay accountable to, that you can communicate with. They don't have to be in the same town. You can do things, I mean, masterminds I'm in, there are people in other countries in the masterminds. But we stay connected by having Zoom calls every week and having other things. So you can do it yourself without having to work with me. However, I would encourage you to work with me, <laughs> just to be transparent, because I got some stuff to teach you and can help you. Um, and by the way, the BFF in in my masterclass is is called is actually not not best friend forever. Although you do find out you do become your own best friend for forever. That's the side effect, by the way. What I'm actually putting in there is 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 about balance, freedom, and flow. Those three components I've really come clear about are core elements in discovering how to be more fulfilled in everything you do, how to have your have your life work for you in harmony and how your life can flow more easily. So balance, freedom, and flow is BFF. Again, barryselby.com forward slash BFF. The link will be in the comments. I recommend checking it out because if you want to get some support going into the new year, this is the best thing I can think of because I created it. <laughs> kind of clear that way. Um, so my invitation to you, my recommendation is to really f discover what works and build more of that and do new things. Again, using the same adage. This is an old adage, and by the way, I'm not, not, I didn't invent this. It came through me about, or came to me from other people which is do less of what doesn't work, do more of what does work, and try new things. It sounds so simple, but it's a way to live life more successfully, especially with the end of the year happening tonight. It's a good chance to look back at this past year, this whole 12 months, and I use my calendar if you could do, I mean, that may be what you do too, and you should remember everything that happened, just to scan through what happened this year. And things that worked, do more of those in the new year. Things that didn't work, stop them, cut them off, do less of them in the new year. And if you're... As I was saying, from my experience, there was less on my calendar than I thought. So I'm going to do some lots of new things this coming year, which is launching my own course, which I haven't done before. That's one reason I'm doing it. It's because it's something new. I haven't done in... Well, this I haven't done for a long time. To have it happen. I've done some live events seven years ago, so it's been a while. No, eight. Damn. Twelve years ago. <laughs> okay, interesting. So anyway, so enough about that. So this is a good time, as I talked about before, about being grateful, about being thankful, about letting go and relaxing into the new year with a graceful format. My my plans today shifted. Um, I was gonna have a, I was gonna have a big party tonight, and I'm actually gonna do something more intimate, relaxed with friends. It's gonna be fun and a way of bringing the new year with gentility, with comfort, with grace and ease. And it's actually gonna be in a way. Well, neither. Um, it's gonna be easier. I'll put it that way. I was gonna say something else. I'm not, not gonna do that. Not comparison that way. So I got clear already that things are showing up quicker than I thought by having new things happen. So I'm saying yes, because it's easier that way. I'm also saying yes to new possibilities because that's where the fun is. So if you want to have more fun this year, definitely play with new things, do new things. <clears throat> because if you're doing something that works and just do more of it, that can become mundane. It can be effective, but it can become mundane. And if you're doing less of what doesn't work, you've got more room in your schedule. So that's why it's important to try new things because it can make life more interesting that way. And I personally think that being in my my BFF uh, masterclass will be very interesting. But again, I'm biased. I know it's coming. If you want to find out, you can join me. <laughs> it's like teasing it. So I think that's really what I want to say. Um, this is the end of the year. This is my final broadcast of this year. I don't think I'm doing any one, another one tonight. But my scheduled ones, this is my last one of the year, and I'll give you the link where you can find those, by the way, the replays. So tomorrow's broadcast will be the beginning of 2020, a brand new talk, which will be a different topic, maybe. We'll see what happens. I have no control of these. They come through me. So first of all, um, again, I mentioned my BFF course will be in the comments. You can check it out. I invite you to check it out and sign up. If you sign up by tomorrow, and you can sign up today, in fact, better still, you'll get about half, half you'll be paying about half the price. So definitely recommend it because next, in, after tomorrow, it goes up. I might adjust that price, but it's definitely going to be more than it is now. So if you've been th sitting on the fence about looking at it or checking it out or thinking about doing something new to start your life in the best way possible, this is the best time to do it today before we go and party tonight. So I recommend that. Second thing is if you want some support, some help to get into the new year in a way that reaches out, just message me. You know, I've been doing a lot of talks the last, I mean, definitely watch my, watch my last seven or eight talks because I did talk a lot about next year, this last year, how to make it work. Hi, Nikki. Good to see you. Um, so I recommend you definitely check that out because we get some clarity in that. So speaking of which, the replays. This is my daily Facebook Live. In case you haven't seen me do them before, I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, pretty much every day, 
I do it every day, usually at 5 p.m. Pacific time, unless I'm going some social engagement or something busy, which happens once in a while. You can watch me on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. The replays go to my business page and onto YouTube, and I'll tell you why in a moment. Um, my business page is barryselby.author. I recommend you like my page, please. And you can definitely watch them on there, but Facebook doesn't show them all there. Only about 200 show up out of 930. That's not good. 940. However, I do keep them on my YouTube channel for backup purposes because I trust having more than one resource is good. That's a lesson, by the way, in there in itself. If you go to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby, you can subscribe to my channel and on there is a playlist called Messages from the Masculine, which is where all of these broadcasts live, from newest to oldest. You can search for keywords, titles, much easier because there's nothing else there except videos. It's YouTube, you know. So um, there's that. And again, check out the link in the comments, which I'll put in when I sign off. And if you want to get, get in and start, and I recommend doing it today, today being December 31st, um, barryselby.com forward slash BFF is the write-up and the links to sign up. And this is, again, the last day. of This, this is basically the last day of my um, early bird special, I'm calling it that. The second one, the one of Christmas, there's a new one. There's a slightly less um, discounted one for New Year's holiday, holiday sales. And it's, it's there for you to check out. So with that, I'm complete. I'm, I'm, ra I'm rambling, so I'm definitely off track. So first of all, thank you for watching. Appreciate you being with me. If you want to talk more about what I talked about, please reach out to me. Comments are welcome. I respond when I sign off. Um, back again tomorrow, same time on New Year's Day. So Happy New Year if I don't speak to you before. Wishing you all the best. Take care of yourself tonight. Travel safely. And we do that. If you're doing something at home, even easier. Um, enjoy the end of this year. Let go with grace with peace, with harmony, and take care of yourself into the new year in a way that works for you. That's my invitation, my encouragement, and what I hope you do if you join my course. Hint, hint. With that, I thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow, so take care of yourself, please. I'll see you again in the new year. Bye.